When 9-11 happened, I was working at the National Reconnaissance Office. President Bush was in office then, and that's when he established the Office of Homeland Security. It piqued my interest, and I had a desire to work for Homeland Security because I thought I would be a great asset to the office. I was in the military, uh, retired military, uh, 21 years. It molded me and shaped me into what I do now for uh, the Department of Homeland Security. In the military, I, I have a logistical background. I was in maintenance, so I did a lot of ordering parts, working on vehicles, and um, and keeping the maintenance up on all the, uh, each type of vehicle that we worked on. But when I came to Homeland Security, I was uh, brought on as a um, logistical guy and also did uh, continuity, which you also do in the military. You always keep your eye on the prize. You're here for a mission. Just like when we would go down for Hurricane Harvey uh, and a couple of disasters, it was long hours. You gotta remember your why. Why are you doing it? and your mission is for the people. Since I've been here, I was instrumental in helping stand up four components uh, when DHS first started, because when I first got to DHS in 2004, it was only 100 contractors and 50 government people. So we were very small at the time. From that time to present, I have watched it grown 22 agencies. So that's been, um, very re rewarding for me.